folks, Micah McGee here. In today's video, we are going to try our best to plant potatoes. Last year, we had them planted right over there behind the boys where you see that dirt. We always try to hit new ground every year. This year, we're gonna plant it down here where we've never even worked the ground before because we're fighting moisture. We, it just will not stop raining every couple days. This here is a, a slope. It goes downhill starting right about here and slopes down the hill. I think it's probably shed more water than what it's soaked in, plus it's not been tilled, so it's harder ground. Planting it in new ground keeps you from having potato bugs, and it also keeps you from having blight, which is the two big problems. Last year we had a rot on our potatoes, but it had nothing to do with that. It was a severe drought, hurt the little root that was going in and then after that we had flooding so that's what caused that and people all across the nation were letting me know about they had the similar problems so in order to keep our dirt from washing away we're going to do it in a very unusual method just stay tuned and you'll see how we're going to do that to our madness now we're going to plow strips plant a row of potatoes in the center leave a row of grass to hold erosion and we're going to have somewhat of a ditch or a furrow below each tilled section so that if the water flows over that in a heavy rain potentially that ditch could catch it and hold it if it overflows that yet the grass will hold the dirt and so that's the method that's what we're going to do Let's get with it and see if we can't get these potatoes planted. We're only planting uh, 200 pounds. That's four sacks. That's what it takes to feed us for a year. We grew that last year. You might wonder, why do you have to plant in February? We don't have to, but uh, last year we planted in February and planted in March. What we planted in February did not have the problem. That's what we did later. We're just going to hit it and knock it out. Another thing with this crazy weather, you never know. We've got to plant it while we can.
what do you think? Nice. Nice. Dave, do you think we got enough filled up? Yeah. I think so. We'll see. We did the whole field. If it ain't enough, we can go on into the orchard over there. We got apple trees and stuff over there, but we're hoping not to get into that. For those of you that thought it don't look like much of a hillside because the camera don't really show hillside, this will give you an idea from this angle. You can see the top row or so that we plowed. After that, the whole field just disappears. It goes down. Everything up here, pretty much on the level. The boys have me unhooked from the plow. They're getting ready to take the boom pole over here and hook on to the tiller, get it off the trailer, and we're gonna hook the tiller up and get that ground tilled that I just now turned. It looks like it's dry enough to till, so we're gonna try it. If you're a kid or a parent watching today, it's pretty cool to have boys that can do all this stuff and get this all hooked up for me. Very nice. And if you're a kid, probably not watching this, but if you are, that's cool. <laughs> We'll go about our day and then come back here after a while and see if it's any better. Hoping to be able to get in here with the tractor and a small plow and dig our trenches, plant our taters, and come back and cover them pretty easy. So, don't need no compaction. And this, my friend, is the clover that you saw me plant. All right, we made it back out here. I've been looking at the dirt. I believe it's ready to go. We're going to try our best. To do it now old joel's over here hooking the plow up to the tractor we're going to drag us out some furrows and start dropping them spuds
putting the skin on the right side. Yeah? Is that important? Well, I think so too. A potato growing upside down will make you have indigestion. <laughs> Oh. And the stuff that's supposed to be on the top is on the bottom. <laughs> We're going to try this little contraption here. This was given to me as a healer, he called it, and I believe they used it to make heels and lay plastic on, but we're going to try to use it to cover these potatoes. The old fella to give it to me is doing not so great, so if you don't care, send up a prayer for Mr. Joe Brown. He's not doing well, but I've known him for probably about 25 years. He's always a great guy. But anyway, we're gonna see if this thing will work. If it don't, we're gonna have to find a stick in the woods or something, dude, like we used to do. But let's see if it works. Yeah. just guessing when I plowed these I had no idea how many strips it was going to take to do 200 pounds of seed potatoes we had exactly enough to do all of it except for one row and that one row I will think about something may put something else in there who knows what but when we started planting at the top it was two o'clock and now it's 3 13 so hour and 13 minutes is not bad to plant 200 pounds seed potatoes on a field this size that's moving on pretty good so the boys are up there on the trailer are getting loaded up and getting ready to get out of here with them boys that's what makes this possible we can't do this without them you say mcgee i noticed you were the only one on the tractor all the time you ain't joking <laughs> anyway we're gonna get on out of here this is a potato crop that you will be seeing more of and i'm extremely excited about it it's on new ground it's on the slope here, I think that it's gonna be absolutely perfect. This is a south exposure. It's going to, it's gonna get that sun. And even though it's February, I believe these things will pop out of the ground before you know it. If you're watching this video wondering if there's still time for you, yes, this is February the 21st for us. You'll see it mid-March. Mid-March is still plenty of time. Even up into April, you can plant potatoes. So get out there and do it. If you can't find seed potatoes, you ain't the only one. They, they're not widely available. If you're in my area, the Livingston Garden Center has them now. I don't know if they'll have them in March, but you can holler at them and see if they've got them. Anyway, we're going to get on out of here. Hope you have a great day. We'll see you on the next video.